Hi, I'm Magpie! And welcome to the follow-up video on the Philips BMC 100. So, link for the previous video where I make like a proper tutorial and then also make music with it. In this video, we're gonna follow up on what I said in the previous video and try to modify it. And when I say modify it, I mean making it so you can go lower, like slow down tip. Uh, and then we're, we're gonna do that. That's a good sequence of events. Speaking of sequence, could have been a cool segue. But yeah, we're gonna go straight inside of this one. And that might be a challenge in itself, actually. There are a few ways that I know of uh, how to uh, do this type of modification. But the one that I prefer, which is really, really easy to do, is buying small PVM circuit boards. There are no screws in these holes. I think maybe they're trying to trick me. Anyways, those PVM things, you can buy them really cheaply. I'm gonna show you how they look in a second and hopefully put a link in the description if I can find. Like I bought it in Sweden. Whoa. Okay, that looks dope. Big old circuit board. <laughs> Crazy stuff. But what we're looking for is this thing right here. That is the motor. It's got two wires coming out here. And sometimes those two wires are all we need. They go into something there and come out in a different color. What? What? I mean, this looks like something I might have done. So it looks something like this when you buy them. Very straightforward. So you don't have to solder here. It's a terminal block. I think it's called. And then everything just happens within this one. So hopefully all we need to do is take these two wires, plug them into motor positive, motor negative, and then we find just, I guess, over here we have power, or just straight up to the batteries, and we plug that into power positive and power negative. That might be all we have to do. So it's really, really simple. Another way to go about this is to circuit bend things. You just find two points, randomly on the circuit that makes the motor get less power or less or a third option is just knowing what you're doing i'm personally not a huge fan of the third option because i'm i'm well satisfied with the first option a bit more safe when you don't know what you're doing oh yeah let's try it out the simple way and we're gonna notice right away if it works and i guess we just do a little bit like that. Red is positive, black is negative when it comes to power and also motor. So that's simple. I mean, we don't have power wires yet, but we're gonna fix that nice and easy. And we're gonna, I'm gonna be so pair, pair. We're also gonna pre-solder on these tiny ones coming from the motor. Only to make them not as flimsy in the tips because these, these are tiny. I don't even know if it's gonna grip like this. I might have to solder them. We try. It seems to work. Then we just need to solder these two to power. I think that I might be able to reach over here where just the power wires come straight from the batteries. Just goes in under here. So we go red to red, black to black. And now we hope that this works. Then it was a very fast, fast work. I don't know how this is gonna be possible to keep in place <laughs> without the backside. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. It's a feat of balance here. Huh? Ah? Very nice! Okay! Ta-da! Super simple! Now all we have to do is fit this one somewhere. Not sure where. Actually, there's sort of not that much space. I'm gonna have to actually think about this. Where to put the, <laughs> the knob on it, where it can't even fit. 
So, so let's meet up over there and I will show you what I came up with. Okay, I was able to put it discreetly on the side. It looks good in my opinion, could have been way worse. I was, uh, yeah, I had to stand and think for a good while. So I've started a new project. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what will happen, but let's begin with listening to it. Let's try this tape. I think this might be a pretty short tape loop. I've also got just an empty tape, so you can record like a long thing and then record that back into DAW. Maybe we actually start with trying just the demo. Record the I can go ridiculously slow. I can of course also go uh, oh, really fast with this one now. <laughs> Maybe that demo. Uh, should I? Should I really work with sampling the demo? Maybe. Maybe we do that. Okay. What? That this it might oh shit what <laughs> okay, wait, I'm gonna take out the batteries from this one for a second, or else they're just gonna drain themselves. Like that, so you can look at the fancy knob. Um, <laughs> gonna figure out a BPM and then no, I can't stop thinking. <laughs> okay, I did uh, drums now, or more drums. Oh, yeah, I just uh, started doing drums with the OP1, just recording drums. Uh, because I feel like these two have something in common. But we need more sounds. Maybe this one. We have a groove going now. We did drums. Very nice. And it, it could actually go on forever. Like this, in my opinion. Very nice. But now I feel like I want to explore this one a bit more. Sort of left this one behind after the demo. We need a longer tape loop though. I think I have one in this one actually. The video with this one coming up one day. But yeah, the idea I have now at least is to take this microphone and record to tape. So we go... I don't know what to say. It doesn't really matter what words I use. It doesn't really matter what words I use. It doesn't really matter what words I use. Wow. What are we... We're auto-tuning. Good 
I mean, it's a, it's a solid start for a verse. Really like doing voice tape effect, actually. That was fun. Now, I guess we could try to just uh, pick a voice. Honestly, I, I don't really know what I'm doing. Just feel like zooming in on specific sounds. I mean, if you take that sound. That was insanely creepy. Uh, let's never do that again. What was it saying? Yay. Yeah, yeah. It's a really hyped uh, demon. But I'm gonna end it here. Uh, I feel like I, I, yeah, this. I'm just immensely satisfied with the modification and I recommend it. I don't really recommend putting the knob on it. That was kind of, yeah, that was pretty hard to actually be able to put it there but if you have one of these but i think this this is where it's at this type of modification for this type of 80s fm groove box synthy thingy i'm gonna have to explore this a bunch i feel like doing arrangements and, and looping that that's where it's at that's really really cool and maybe not even looping it just recording a really long arrangement onto the tape and slow it down of course that's gonna be really 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 cool but there's gonna be a couple of more tape videos uh actually have a a big one so to speak coming up that with a with a pretty fun approach to uh, tape cassette thingies that i don't see like the cassette gods uh talking about and I'm a nobody, so I, I talk about whatever I want. I guess what I'm trying to say is stick around and hear a sound. <laughs> Thank you for watching.